I also think that if we could gather the gravity of God's mercy, we would really trust Him more. We would believe in Him more. We would love for Him more. Welcome to the Daily Psalm series video here today. And I'm going to share with you Psalm 136 today. And we're going to go through a discussion and pray as well. So stay for that if you want to. And I pray that the Lord will speak to you today for what you need to receive. Amen. Praise God, guys. Psalm 136 from the New King James Version. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for His mercy endures forever. To Him who alone does great wonders, for His mercy endures forever. To Him who by wisdom made the heavens, for His mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever. And gave their land as a heritage, for his mercy endures forever a heritage to Israel his servant, for his mercy endures forever, who remembered us in our lowly state, for his mercy endures forever, and rescued us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever, who gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. And that is Psalm 136, guys. Obviously, we are seeing a repetitive statement made here that God's mercy endures forever. But it reminds me of the repetitive things we do as Christians is that we are constantly living for God day in and day out. It reminds me also of what it talks about in the book of Revelation with the angels singing forever. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. And it's a good thing for us to know is that we can never praise God enough. We can never lift up His name enough. And that's why it's a constant thing every day that we live for God and that we praise His name forever. This Psalm today, as repetitive as it is with that statement, His mercy endures forever, isn't even enough to make up how much God deserves our praise and acknowledgement of Him and His goodness and His grace and His mercy. I also think that if we could gather the gravity of God's mercy, we would really trust Him more. We would believe in Him more. We would love for Him more. And so by reading the Word of God, that is one of the ways we grow in faith. As the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. So we need a repetitiveness in our Christian walk that every single day we are living for God, even though we might be doing the same things. We wake up in the morning, we pray, then we read our Bible and we go about our day. And then later on, spending time with God even more after that. We have to not complain about doing these things again and again because it never is enough. But yet God's grace is there for us to be able to communicate with Him, to be able to go back to Him when we pass on from this life. So God is forever worthy. He is forever merciful. And so let's be encouraged today to continue to grow in praising God without stopping, but increasing our praises day by day. Amen. Glory to God, guys. Let's close in prayer. 
Heavenly Father God, we come before you today in Jesus' name. Father, your mercy indeed does endure forever. We praise your name, we bless your name, and we thank you for who you are. I just pray, Lord, that you would reveal yourself to us more and more every day, that you would bring us understanding and wisdom of your word day by day, that we will not miss out on what we can and what we should do for you, Lord, but that we will understand how worthy you are, that we will understand how merciful you are, that we can even love you more and live for you more. Lord, I pray for a strength to rise up within this person's heart today who's watching this video and a courage, encouragement, edification and peace. Bless them, Lord, and I pray that you would pour out your love upon this person's heart today to remind them, Father, how merciful you are to them and how much you love them. And Lord, we give you all the glory and the praise and the honor. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God, guys, once again. He deserves all the praise, honor, thanks and glory. I appreciate you watching the video today, though. So thanks for coming by and I'll see you again tomorrow for Psalm 137. God bless you so very much and may the peace of Jesus rest upon you in his mighty name. Amen.